Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use SAR. This is video two, and today we're talking about the main section, so this top bar up here, and this next main bar right up here. So, to search for different patches and presets, you can just click this name right here. Mine says default, yours might have the default patch already loaded, but same place to click. You click up there, and you can go in these categories and kind of play around with the different presets or patches that come with it. And a lot of them actually sound really cool. So definitely spend some time in here and kind of look around. And then you can load other ones or save different ones here. But if you don't want to be in this menu the whole time, you can just kind of select a category. If you're going to leads, for example, and then we can just hit these arrows. And just kind of scroll faster that way. There's the options menu. So if you maybe load a patch, tweak it a little bit or make your own, click up options, and then you can save it, you can load another program, you can reset program, you can import CC maps, and so on and so forth. And then next over here, this where it says parameter or param, this is going to be the last parameter that you move. So if we go to, for example, glide time, now glide time is going to show and then you can change your controller or touch a controller and then you can link it here or unlink it. So basically, if you want to have a knob that's controlled from a MIDI controller, that's the way you do it right there. And then over here, you have polyphony. It comes default at four, which is how many notes you're going to pl be playing at the same time. And then you can click this here. You can go to eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. So, I mean, I don't know how many fingers 24 notes is going to hit, but that's quite a lot. But definitely you can keep going pretty high. Just keep in mind that the more polyphony, the more CPU power you're going to use. And then you have bend range. So this is two by default. So two semitones up or two semitones down. Basically, that's going to be your, your full distance between your bend range and the maximum value and so on. And you can change this to uh, all the way up to 12, so an octave of, of bend. So that's quite a bit. And then this little question mark, you have a nice little graphic to show you that you're in SAR. Pretty cool. The next up, we have the level. So let's go over here back to a default patch here. And then this is going to be your level control, basically your master level. And then your panning, pretty self-explanatory. And then next, this is going to be your envelope, which these sliders attack, decay, sustain, and release. So if you don't like your note being super fast, kind of fade it in a little bit. How long it takes it, the signal to delay, and this is in seconds, so 0.3 seconds, it's going to delay, and it's going to sit at this level here. And then the release is once you let go, that's kind of the fade out of the sound. All right, so let's put these all back to normal, and I'm holding Alt and just clicking those in case you didn't know. And then transpose, you have up 24, so up two octaves, and then down two octaves, down 24. And then next to that, you have your fine tuning and sense, so plus 100 cents, and then down 100 cents. So pretty, pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. And then next up on your glide, so let's turn this up to make this kind of obvious here. So our notes are gliding between each other, right? And this first knob is easier to demonstrate. So right here where it says held, if I hit a note, I let go, I hit another note, it doesn't bend at all, it just they're solid notes. That's because it has to be held, so like a legato mode. And that's when it'll activate. And so with that up, I can hit a note, let go, and hit another one, and it'll still bend, as you can see these little ramps here on the spectrum view. So put that back down, and now the next thing is going to be variable and static. So with variable, let's hit a lower note. I just go to always have it bend. So lower note, and then a higher note. So make sure to look at this distance here. Now with a different note. So it's variable. So basically, it's changing the time of that glide time based on how far away the notes are from each other. So if it's on static... It's going to take the same amount of time to glide from different notes. So that's the only difference between those two. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's go default again here and go. There we go. And then next up, we have the mono and polyphony. So if you have a bass patch and you don't want to have other keys being triggered at the same time, you click the mono and it'll just hit one note at a time. So kind of nice to have there. And then you have the Octaver switch. So let's turn on some voices here. Let's go four voices. I'll turn this down a little bit because it gets a little bit louder. And then if we turn on our switch here. So 
So it's basically accenting the the octaves or, or the the harmonics that are that are building up the octaves. So it's basically the same series as you can see, like none, there's no added harmonics really. But you can see here how this is a little brighter and this is a little darker. So it's basically boosting up those, uh, those harmonics. Hopefully that makes sense. And the next we have this re-trigger here as well. So if we have more than one voices, so like we have four, if this re-trigger is on, it's gonna re-trigger all those voices at the same phase. If it's off, all those voices are kind of playing in different phases and what and whatnot. So a little higher, maybe we can hear a little more of a difference. And then with it on, it's very repetitive. Where if it's off, it definitely sounds a little bit more organic. Like not every note sounds exactly the same. Alright, so then moving on, we have our unison voices. So I did have it on four, and you have a total up to eight. So you have one, two, four, and eight. Let's see how eight sounds. And then here we have our detune. And then our unison panning, so let's spread it a little bit. There we go. And that patch actually sounds pretty good, or that saw in general. I mean, eight voices, a little bit of detune, and then spread left and right pretty far. And that's pretty much it. So look forward to the next video. We're going to talk about the oscillator, so our main oscillator, and then also our sub oscillator, and all these controls down here. So we'll see you in the next video.